What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Jay from Illusion TV. Today I want to talk to you about a little issue that's been going on with my DJI Action 2 camera. I got it about a week ago, I've been using it every single day and it's been consistent in the times it's been giving me until it stops recording from overheating. Now I've gotten this thing to overheat in 4K, I've gotten it to overheat in 1080p, which I was really surprised that it overheated so quickly in 1080p. I did do a test today that was in 4K, 24 frames per second, because that would be the mode I would use it in the most. And I put it up against this guy right here, which when this got released, everyone was complaining about the overheating problems. So just a quick overview. This is the camera here. It's modular, it's multiple pieces. It's got a magnetic system. So you can basically take it apart and use it how you want. It comes with a bunch of mounts. This is the GoPro mount, which I find to be really, really cool. And what's nice about that is you put these on a, you know, whatever you're gonna use and then snap it on and you're ready to go. So the main unit has the lens on the front, nothing on the side. It's got its own rear view screen. And then on the top, it has a power button. Uh, the bottom piece, which is right here, the bottom piece has also a screen, which is front facing, and you have the power button on the side, SD card reader in the back, and USB type C port on the side. You also have four microphone holes on this. So once you're using this with the main camera module, it's supposed to increase your audio as far as the quality in recording. And uh, yeah, so I really love the design of this camera. I just wish it didn't have this overheating problem. All right, so with that being said, I wanna get to the video now. So I did this test and I put both cameras right next to each other. I mounted them on a little rig that I have and I basically sped up the video. So this way we weren't waiting the whole time because it is it was a long time recording it. So I started them both at the same exact time. Now the screen on the DJI, for whatever reason, it's a little harder to see than the GoPro. The room temperature was 74 degrees the whole time. And right now we're speeding it up. Now. I have gotten this thing to overheat at 1080p after about 20 minutes. I've gotten the warning that the camera was unable to continue recording. I was really, really shocked at that because it was 1080 30. So you would think, you know, you wouldn't have a problem. All right, guys, so you can see here in the video, I'm just checking to make sure they're still good. The GoPro is out 10 minutes. They're both at 10 minutes, but I referenced the GoPro because it's the easier one to uh, see. And you're gonna see that the DJI starts beeping. And once it starts beeping, then it's pretty much game over with it. Uh, I'll tap the screens to see what's going on. And the DJI does not shut off like the GoPro, uh, but you can see it's not recording anymore. And the GoPro is about 15 minutes in. Um, I'm trying to hit the button to resume recording. It gives me a message saying overheated, unable to record. So pretty much at this point, you kind of have to just keep waiting and trying, um, but I couldn't get it to re-record again, so I just ended up turning it off and letting the GoPro do its thing. Funny thing, my Sony ZV-E10 overheated and shut off on me before the GoPro. The GoPro's at 43 minutes right now, still going strong. My Sony died on me. I've never had my Sony camera die on me, but yeah, so... Those are the results from the test. So not only did the DJI only last about just under 15 minutes, but the GoPro outlasted my Sony mirrorless camera, my ZV-E10. So right there, um, whatever GoPro did on the last update, they definitely tweaked more things in the background than they said they did. I know they gave us a bunch of different modes, but right now the GoPro 10, if you're somebody who uses the camera indoors and like static scenes, I would say even at 4K 30 mounted, you're gonna be good to go with that camera. The DJI Action 2, if it's a matter of you're gonna use this thing indoors um, for longer periods of recording, I would say right now, hold off, do not buy this camera uh, until they come out with some updates and fix the overheating issue. There's also another thing I wanna add to this video. If you download the Mimo app on your iPhone, 
and you have trouble getting the videos to download or even be previewed through the Mimo app on your iPhone, the problem is that in the settings of your iPhone, you have to go scroll all the way down to where it says DJI Mimo and go into there. On the bottom, you're gonna see a little slider that actually shows you cellular. And that was turned on when I downloaded the app. And I know a bunch of other people on the forums have been having this problem. So make sure that that little slider for cellular is turned off. Restart the app. And then when you try to download the files from your DJI Action 2 camera or preview them, it's gonna work perfectly. Um, I called and contacted DJI through email and chat and both people did not know what was going on. It was just something I stumbled on and I wanted to throw out there in the video. All right, guys, if you've enjoyed this video or you found it useful and learned something from it, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like. And also, if you wanna see future videos, hit that subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, until the next video, I wanna say be well, take care, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.